Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter 10, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So I wrote on here that one ton is 2,000 pounds and one pound is 16 ounces. Um, it's hard to forget the 16 ounces because fluid ounces, when you're talking about liquid, is eight ounces per cup. This is not the same. This is one pound is 16 ounces. So don't get confused, okay? I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit so we can see some, okay? So the first one says six tons is how many pounds? So six tons when one ton is 2,000 pounds, okay? So all you have to do is multiply that six times two, which is 12, and then one, two, three, zero. Boom. Okay, you need to start with what it tells you. We're going to go through and you can cancel out your tons. You're left with pounds, which is exactly what you need. Okay, all right, we're going to do the next one. Okay, 18 pounds when one pound is 16 ounces. Okay. What you have to do is multiply the 18 by 16. Okay. Six times eight, 48, carry our four. Six times one is six, plus four is 10. Let's go through and whoop, tick, tack, toe, and one times 18 is 18. Add them up. Eight, eight, two, 288. Okay. All right. Now the next one, we have to divide. So we're going to, because it's going from the smaller unit to the bigger one. Okay, so I'm going to do this on scrap paper. Okay, so we're going to start with what it tells us. When 16 ounces is one pound. Okay, so now it's going to be 3,200 divided by 16. We're going to cross cancel our ounces. We're left in pounds. That's what we want. Okay, and then 16 goes into 32 two times, and then we have one, two zeros, 200. Okay, all right, I'm going to let you guys do through nine. So five through nine, go ahead and do. We are going to go ahead and down to number 10. And we want to, um, the easiest way to do these is to compare them both in the same unit, okay? Well, it's easier to multiply than it is to divide, so I'm going to pick the bigger unit, which is pounds. Pounds are bigger than ounces, okay? So I'm going to go pounds, and I'm going to multiply to get ounces, okay? So four pounds when one pound is 16 ounces. So now all I have to do is 16 times four. Okay, four times six, 24, carry out two. Four times two is four plus, sorry, four times one is four plus two is six. So 64 ounces. So that one's bigger. Okay, okay. Make sure you guys are showing your work, okay? So ounces are pounds. Pounds is the bigger unit. So we're going to go there. Okay, five pounds when one pound is 16 ounces. So now just five times 16. Okay, five times six is 30. Five times one is five plus three is eight, 80. Makes them equal, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys do through 15. Remember, pick the bigger unit. Multiply it to get the smaller one and then see which one is bigger. Okay. Okay. We are going to go down and do number 16. Number 16 says, Mr. Fields ordered three tons of gravel for the driveway at the factory. How many pounds of gravel did he order? Well, we're going to start with three tons because that's what it gave us. Okay. And one ton is 2,000 pounds. Okay, we're going to cross cancel the unit. We're left with pounds, that's what we want. And then three times 
two is six, and then one, two, three zeros. So. Six thousand pounds. Okay. Make sure you guys are showing your work. Okay. All right. Sarah can take no more than twenty-two pounds of luggage on a trip. Her suitcase weighs one hundred and twelve ounces. How many more pounds can she pack without going over her limit? Okay. So I'm going to take that twenty-two pounds and I'm going to turn it into ounces. Then I'm going to subtract one hundred and twelve, and that'll tell me the difference. Okay. So I'm going to start with twenty-two pounds. When one pound is, oops, I almost wrote 22 ounces, 22 pounds again, is 16 ounces. Okay. So now, cross cancel pounds. I'm left with ounces. That's good. And now I have to do 22 by 16. I'm going to put the 16 on top so that these are the same the whole time. Okay. So two times six, 12, carry that one. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. I'm going to go tick, tack, toe, and then it's the same number, so I'm going to go right there. Add them up, okay? So, 2, 5, 3. Okay, so now she can take 352. She already has... 112, subtract and let's see what we can take. 2 minus 2 is 0, 5 minus 1 is 4, 3 minus 1 is 2. 240. Oh, how many more pounds? Uh-oh, guys, so we have to actually turn that back into pounds. Okay, so 240 ounces, and we have to divide that by 16 to get it back into pounds, okay? Sorry, y'all, that one went a little further. Okay, so 240, we're gonna divide that by 16. It'll be a little small, sorry, y'all. Okay, so 16 is gonna go into 24 one time. We're gonna get eight. Eight is smaller than 16, so I'm gonna bring down my zero, and 16 times five is 80. Okay, so. 15 pounds. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. Okay, make sure y'all write down your work on scrap paper, do what you need to do. Okay, all right. Okay. That. Yep. Okay. All right. We're going to go over to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down and do this bar review. So as there are 20 guests at a party, the host has eight gallons of punch. He estimates that each guest will drink two cups of punch. If his estimate is correct, how much punch will be left over at the end of the party? Okay. So 20 guests each drink two cups. Well, that's going to be 40, right? Okay. So he has eight gallons. Okay, so now we need to turn eight gallons into cups. One gallon is four quarts. Two quarts. Oh, sorry. One quart is two pints. All right, y'all. And one pint is two cups. Okay, so eight times four is 32. Times two is 64. 64 times 2 is 128. Okay, so have 128 cups. Okay. And if his estimate's correct, they'll drink 40 of them. Okay. 8 minus 0 is 8. 12 minus 4 is 8. So 88 cups. Okay. Make sure that y'all are writing down your work. Okay. Okay. A typical lap around the track in the United States has a length of 440 yards. 
how many laps would be needed to run a mile? Okay. Well, I don't know how many yards are in a mile, but I do know how many feet. Okay. So I'm going to term 440 yards when one yard is three feet. Okay. Then I'm going to multiply that until I get to 5,280 feet. Okay. So multiply straight across. Well, first, let's get rid of our yards. We're in feet. We're good. Okay. So 440 times three. Okay. Three times zero. Still zero. Three times four is 12. Carry the one. And three times four is 12 plus one, 13. So 1320. And so we know one is going to be there. Okay. Times two. 1320 times three. And 13. 20 times 4, and we'll see how we do. Okay? All right. So, 2 times 0 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2. Okay? We need, we need to get as close as we can to 5,280. That's our magic number. Okay? Because that's how many feet are in one mile. Okay? So, 3 times 0 is 0, not 3. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 1, 3. That's not going to work either. Okay, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, carry that 1, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Oh, there we go. So, 4 laps. Okay, make sure you're all written down your work. Okay, all right. Paper. Okay. A recipe for sweet potato casserole calls for three quarters of a cup of milk. Martina has six cups of milk. How many sweet potato casserole can she make with that amount of milk? Okay. So three quarters. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's start with the six. So six divided by three quarters because that'll tell us how many she can make. Okay. So I'm going to put that six over a one. When we are dividing fractions, we keep, we change, we flip. Now, I'm going to go ahead and reduce. So, 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 6 twice. And 2 times 4 is 8, 1 times 1 is 1, 8 casseroles. Done. Okay? Make sure you guys stop to write down your work, okay? All right, what is the best estimate for the total weight of these cold meats? One and seven eighths pound of bologna, one and a half pounds of ham, and seven eighths pound of roast beef. Okay, well, one and seven eighths, seven eighths is almost in a whole nother pound. So I'm going to estimate that at two. Okay, one and a half is pretty clear. I'm going to leave that at one and a half. Okay, and seven eighths, again, that's about one whole one. So now I have two plus one whole one. That's Sorry, you guys can't see that. Two plus one is three, plus one more is four, and then we have our half. So four and a half pounds. Okay. All right, write down your estimates really fast, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 10.3. Come on back for 10.4. See you soon.